Um, so the book is uh, about a young British guy in New York, um, he splits up with his girlfriend and he moves in with a couple of older, rich older ladies who live on the Upper East Side in an opulent big apartment and um, together with the, um, uh, the a young woman who lives next door, they steal one of the priceless pieces of art that is on the walls of uh, these old ladies. And um, it's an ancient Egyptian scene. And as the stress of the theft starts to work on him, this imagery of ancient Egypt starts to come to life around him. And it's not clear whether that's happening in his head or whether it's supposed to be really happening. Yeah. And of course, he's telling us this. So we don't know what to believe, do we? We don't know how reliable he is. Yeah, that's right, exactly. It's narrated by me. Yeah. <laughs> so, would you like to uh, read from Yeah, sure. I'll just read from um, from the first chapter and give you a, um, a bit of a, uh, of a flavour. I'm sorry about my voice, by the way. I really was losing my voice the last couple of days and I was really getting quite worried about this, but I think it's just about um, serviceable. <laughs> so, chapter one. Sooner or later, Everybody comes to New York, and I was no exception. For me, it was art school that brought me over, and I left behind the brash primary colours of late 90s London gladly and without remorse. Here I could reinvent myself, as others had before me, among the shining slabs of a city that seemed to have scale where others only had size. 